Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more Anarchy Online. So we are back and we're going to go in here and we're going to head over to Borealis, I believe. Here's the grid axis. Can we actually access? Oh yeah, I guess we can get the grid. I wasn't sure if we were high enough or whatever, but this is the grid. It's multiple levels. To get to the higher levels, you usually need a lot more computer. Is it computer lit? It's been so freaking long, honestly. I don't need to go higher, but I thought let's just check it out for fun because... I honestly haven't been to the grid for a long time, so it might error out here. Oh yeah, your computer literacy skill needs to be 100 or more. So those are other players you see floating around here. Some more sitting around. But we're going to go to Borealis anyway, so this is a good way to get there through the grid. You can also use the thing we saw there. Maybe on my way back I'll go the other way. There's ICC. But there you go. Pretty cool. So this is Borealis. You can see there's lots of players around. This game is not even close to dead. And this is, when I'm recording at this moment, this is during a Tuesday? Yeah. This is a Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. So this is where Europeans are already probably gone to bed or going to bed. Um, but it just shows you, like, you know, there's still life in here, which is awesome. I don't know if I really noticed these guys sparking up like that before. So we're going to talk to somebody over here. I'm not sure about this quest line. I've never done this one, but apparently uh, there's one for each faction. More importantly, teaches newcomers a bit about the game mechanics, reward you with some useful tools, etc., etc. So um, I did look this up, and apparently they're right over here. So we're gonna talk to Peter, and then yeah, we're just we're gonna see what this up here. So hey, Peter, what's up? Um, do, 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 do. Wow, there you go. Sh uh, sure, I guess. I don't know if I should give him money, but there you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, not particular. What are you doing here anyways? Oh well, wow. is that as, as easy as it? So yeah, uh, so yeah, you get the cloak in Borealis and trust the psychic Peter Bill. Let's talk to Peter first. From his crappy jokes, he shares information. He called. He asks you to get a cloak from the Kenzem Sideway. I'll return uh, for a reward. Blah blah. You with the reward with the lockpick, but this is can wait. You should really talk to and learn uh, about the surroundings first. Oh, okay, so we're gonna talk to this guy too. Apparently, we're having a chat with all these guys. Okay, so we're going to have a chat with him. And this is my first visit. Okay. So I guess they're highlighted when it... Oh, it doesn't show it there. Upload. So I guess it's highlighted to tell you that's the one, I guess. Or I'm assuming. So there is the mission up here. So we're going to deliver the biocommunicator here to uh, in uh, something. Okay. Remaining time, eight hours. Holy crap. <laughs> we get there in time. <laughs> uh, so there, you, there she is right there. And I guess she's like right over here. So not this door, but this door apparently. Okay. So there you go. I guess we could do this to so skip that. There you go. There you go. Okay. So they're apparently, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, we're on some adventure. So where is this one going to? Um, sorry, where is this one? Oh, are they, they're not making this easy, huh? Newland City. Okay. That's pretty simple. So we're going to go to Newland City. So this is where we don't use the grid. Not all places has the grid anyways available. Quite a few do, to be fair. But sometimes it's just easier to use these, too. And New Land City, huh? So she is over here. Oh, you are the person. Okay, that makes it easier. So let's hand that over. I guess we're heading in the book over. 
There we go. Oh crap. How many license did you want me to do? Okay, I, I'm hoping it's two things. Yeah, it says two tasks, I think. So we're I think we're fine, but you know, I kind of spammed it and I got a little worried there. So let's do upload to mission. Is there one in here? No, it looks like there none are in here, so we're gonna have to look. New land outside and new land outside. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to go outside new land. This is actually kind of fun. This is like how you you'd used to do it, you know. This is roughing it. Let's cast this guy. It gives us a much faster run speed, as you guys know. doesn't feel like it because how big it is, but yeah. Exploring. 596 run speed. 600 now. There you go. Sorry, I'm I'm killing the view for you guys here. There you go. So this will make it a little nicer for us to get around. Okay, so we got one over here. Yeah. Here's the Bronto Burgers. We had the one there at the newbie zone, but this is what they usually look like at Bronto Burger stands. So, which is pretty cool. Hello, how are you? There you go. Okay. And then, oh wait, are we actually supposed to deliver it to you? <laughs> okay, apparently this was actually where we were supposed to go. So which one is which? Uh, vendor license and vendor license. Uh, vendor license? There you go. Literally it has a special one. What the heck? Look at this. You got this cool right shoulder pad. That is so freaking cool. Can we do that yet anyways? Pretty close, if not yet. Cool. So we're actually getting some cool stuff out of this. Yeah, look at that. So we just got this shoulder pad. Look at all those buffs. Cool. And then uh, we're going to do the other delivery, which was a little further away, but it was here. I don't know if this floats over water. No. And it's much slower. There you go. Look at this badass. I'm a badass. Look at me go. He's a wizard. An arc wizard. <laughs> Is that what they call them? That's kind of cool. Clanner. Oh, apparently I get messages. Apparently I got to stop what I'm doing. There you go. So we're going over here. Kind of fun exploring out here. Like, this is like what you used to do in the young days. You never really go out and fight stuff out here anymore, which is kind of sad. It's kind of fun. Just explore and check out things. It's a little scary because I can't fly, so. Now, I tabbed and saw somebody damaged, or at least I thought I did. I'm like, kind of wondering, like, how do they get damaged out here? Who damaged them? Yeah, worker butt up here. Oh, crap. This is glitchy with this. I think it's going to work, though. There you go. <laughs> I wasn't sure, but I was like, I think it's going to work. It's just really derpy. Okay, so this guy we're delivering a license to is at this crash site. I guess if you're going to start a... Oh, the guy has a warp here. Yeah, you can actually get... <laughs> Watch this. If you go tell mono... Warp three, help. Yeah, see, this guy will tell you the available warps and warp you around. I'm not kidding you. PvP daily, things like that. But I'd rather be on our feet right now. That's really useful, and I'll probably use that eventually anyways. Ooh, I want to fight this guy. Maybe for this does not go well for us. <laughs> Let's do this, punk. Oh, we're fine. Usually when you're green, it's fine. It's just, you know, it's still scary sometimes. There you go. Get some decent credits here. 
Okay, so we're supposed to deal with somebody over here, I guess. They're right... Oh, they're right at this NPC, I guess. There you go. So we can just give them this. Oh, look at this. You got one of those floating torch things. That's so cool. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. That's a utility. And it'll actually give you uh, a floating... See? A light on you. This is what we used to do in the old games, you know, before they made everything too bright. They'd give you a light to put on, and that's how you got your light, which is freaking cool. Apparently, we have to go back to the food vendor. This is what happens when you don't pay attention. There's guides all for this, like, because you almost can't follow these all the time. Uh, it's just how this works. But they're, um, we're going to go back to that food vendor because uh, this is just uh, the hitbox or meshing or whatever is bigger. Because apparently she has a quest and I want to go grab that and then we're gonna do that quest I Think this is right. She doesn't have a name. So it kind of throws it off a bit But uh, let's see hi there Ah, uh, yeah, this is it There you go, and it says it wants us to blah blah blah. Okay. She's needs and dire needs of those um and they're southwest, so southwest this way. And we gotta kill some of these. Uh, yeah, dire need of small ch cheer up eggs. These must be cheer ups. Yeah, that looks right. So let's get this disabled here. I really hate how this thing is on the nuisance side. It is what it is, but I really wish it wasn't. Wish you could like click this thing again or whatever or use a cancel macro. I asked on Discord and they said, no, you have to do that. And they say sort by time or whatever just in case too. Because like if you're a keeper and you got all your AOE buff things going, the, uh, they can be kind of a mess. So it was a, a nice warning there. Honestly, I don't think I've ever noticed the quality of these. I just thought it was just their stomach or whatever was that big. Like, I knew it was eggs they have on them, but I just assumed that they were, like, really fat with it. But I never really thought of they were just actually flying and holding the egg the whole time. Derp. What was this thing? Huh? Probably nothing we actually need, but there we go. I think we have, oh yeah, enough eggs. Oh, there we go. So the food provider, it says. Okay. Did we rubber band there? I think we did. AOE, AO, uh, AO, I was going to say, Anarchy Online does that quite often. Not like insanely like every two minutes, but it does have the famous... Uh, uh, so see, this is why they have enough slots for this. Boom. There you go. So they gave you a cool belt here. To be fair, we already had this belt uh, pretty much. Uh, gives you two... Oh no, the other one had two NCU uh, extra as well. So it's useless. We bought that other one. Of course I'll help you. What is this one? Oh. Control 4. What is Control 4? Oh, missions window. I was like, what's going on here? We know where to go anyway, so goodbye. Uh, then, okay, so Bronto, this most dangerous journey of the quest since you get attacked by different mobs in the wild. Okay. Um... Master is uh, glad to receive the meal. It's still warm. He wears your floating torch. Blah, blah, blah. Lose yourself in a sea of quests for social clothing. Or you can continue and bring the Sonic. In. I don't want to do social clothing questing like that. I mean, later on, I could see myself wanting to do that. But, like, right now, I don't want to, like, be piling into that. So. There you go. So we might as well go a little more straight forward here. Okay. Or 
remember these guys. They they look similar to that, but yeah, I never thought of that till now. They they're Aatroxes. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. You see those in Temple of Three Winds or something similar like that. I'm pretty sure, and I'm like, you know, they were so big, and my mind just kind of blends in. You know, not thinking about that, but like now I think about it, it's just the friggin' uh, Aatroxes. So this guy is getting double everything today. Okay, so you're getting this meal. There you go. Okay, so we're going to bring the Sonic Analyzer. So we're going back to Newland City. So you remember that buff bot? Where the hell did that buff got go? Available warps. You can go like... It's not a big deal, but I wanted to try this out for fun. So what you can do is, I have a buff bot I had written here. Uh, there you go. This guy here. You can actually do a macro. So you do macro, and then TP, and then tell Scotty bath help, I guess. And then you put this here, and then you just click this. Oh, wait. Uh, no, I wanted to actually do... Um, crap. I did the wrong one. I want to do uh, Scotty Bath. Oh, wait, maybe that's... Oh, that is the command I use. No, I want to do help instead. There you go. Is this the right one now? Yeah, there you go. Available warp destinations. There you go. I'm not going to be like doing this all the time kind of thing, but I just thought it'd be fun to show you. So if you go to New Land near the shops, uh, you, there's a waypoint. You just click this, and he'll invite you a team. This guy has literally dozens, if not like a hundred, bots. Uh, they're, they're like you and I characters, right? And they've been leveled up or whatever, and basically they're warps. And so I just get invited to a team, and he will warp me to said location to them. So I just sit here, and uh, I wait the 20 seconds or whatever, and then there I go. I get warped, and then they'll kick me out of the group automatically. You'll see any second on the right side there, just to make sure I made it, and that's it. Isn't that freaking ridiculous and awesome? Uh I love it because it's, it's just something cool to share with you guys to make life easier. Because some people don't want to be running all over the place. So now we have this button where we can just easily grab a teleport. So I'll probably do that from time to time. Especially when I'm doing cuts, you know, like, okay, you know, I'm going to cut. I'm going to get from A to B, C to D, you know. But uh, freaking cool anyways. We, we I want to explore the world with you as well. So I don't want to be like using it for places we haven't been to. But these are all, you, you ready for this? This is all buffs, by the way. So uh, let's see. Uh, tell M-O-C-H vendor help. And look at this. This is going to receive a list of buffs that they can offer us. Not kidding you. And you go to the buff menu here, and then there you go. They will show you all these different buffs you can get. So run speed buff here. Look at this. It invades. So, yeah, I might get that one. Why not? I don't need anything right now anyway, so there you go. So somebody, there you go, will buff me. And there we go. <laughs> So now my run speed should be even faster. 791. <laughs> Isn't that freaking cool? Anyways, we're going to talk to this ghoul somebody. He he might actually be down here, to be fair. Everything kind of blended in. I got distracted. Oh, yeah, here you go. Oh, good time. I literally thought... <laughs> don't, don't ask what I just said. There you go. There you go. Where we have it. So what is this? A microphone. I got given a microphone. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, okay, so the Good Time Party Mixer will give you a microphone for your troubles. Besides giving out uh, living arm requests, he also has frozen leet yummies. And once again, back to will reward you with elite doll. Okay. So... We go. So we're going back here, I guess, right? Borealis. Uh, mission. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, Borealis. I've never really paid attention to Borealis zoomed in. That's probably good for you guys to see that zoom in, though. Like, it's a little shocking because of how big it is, but it's probably nice to be able to see that easy. There we go. And then before we finish this part, well, we'll finish this part. And so there you go. So these are the frozen one, frozen, frozen leet yummies. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, we get a little leet doll now. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. I will have a nice day. So this thing is probably worth nothing. Oh, it's no drop. I'm not even sure if you can vendor it then. What we're going to go to is in the trade here. And we're going to grab some bags and stuff like that too here. Might as well get a little organized for the future here for you guys. Organization is very key. And if you don't organize, you don't live. Yes, you're going to get killed because I just decided to say you don't. <laughs> if you're not organized, you'll get uh, your brain will will turn to poop. Interesting. Isn't there supposed to be containers vendor? Usually there's a dedicated containers vendor. These are tech. Oh, containers. Here they are. Okay, so here you go. So as far as I know, there is no difference from a small backpack to a large backpack, or at least there wasn't as far as I know. Um, let's look it up. Nope, we're good. The only difference is appearance, basically, and price, really. So let's be freaking cheap and buy ourselves a small one because it doesn't really matter because what we'll do is we'll buy a bunch of them, right? And then what we're going to do is this. We're going to just dump them in here, and we're going to just name them in here, basically. So we're going to dump them all in here. This is where organization becomes key, my friend. So we just write, oops um you just open it oh, wait can i open oh no you have to do them in like this i guess never mind take them back in actually i could keep these guys out there for now there you go eh. Eh. so what you do is you open these up and you do the rename here so you do um i guess you could do something like you want to make sure it does it fine so you can do storage i guess you can do everything like storage um ai lo low level web uh weapons i guess i shouldn't do you know ai low level weapons something like that there you go and then there you have it so what we can do now here is you can just go ahead and just put these all in here. And I don't think they, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think they let you do that. So you're going to have to right click these, obviously. But it's not the biggest thing. I think we've gone through worse things in our lives. And then, uh, yeah, let's do this. Look at all the pistols we got, by the way. Holy crap. Maybe organize these by words. Actually, yeah, pistol, pistol, pistol. But then you got energy pistol. That makes a little bit more sense now. Because I was like, why did we get so many pistols? But... There are different types of pistols too, so. I wonder if you can, nope. You didn't just equip it, did you? No. No, I don't know what it's doing, but it's not doing what I wanted it to do. There you go. So we can just put these guys in here. What are these called? A uh, submachine gun? Grenade gun, yeah. It's all right. I just wanted to organize these a bit, but it doesn't really matter. They're just junk. There you go. We're just going to throw these all in here. I'm not going to ever use them anyway, so. There you go. Wait, are you telling me we had an actual enough slots for all these? Yes. Okay, so we can take this, throw this in here, and there you go. Storage. There you go. Um, I think there might have even been a way to color the names at one point. You might need to do it outside of the game. 
Um, but uh, yeah, so now we're going to get this and we're going to do uh, spirits, right? So we're going to open this up. We're going to rename it and we're going to call it uh, storage and then spirits. Uh, I don't know. Level 10 and under. I don't know. <laughs> You can do something like that, I guess. And you want to do like zero one one because what happens if you have 11 bags? It gets really confusing, trust me. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that because this game might do something different about that. But trust me, in a lot of other games, it gets so bad. You want to do extra organization like that because it will hurt. And then we just take these guys in here and... There you go. So we're putting these all in here and organizing them basically. And then we can just dump you and there you go. Um, and then we can just get another one here and open it up and we'll just rename this one. Uh, so rename this one to uh, storage. And then we do um, random, uh, what was that place called? Uh, RT landing loot for fun. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, we can just go and just open all these up here, basically. I'll probably keep that med suit because I might need it. I don't know if I'll need it, but, you know, I've decided I'll leave it for now. There you go. We can put those in there. So you can keep a lot of stuff. The, the amount of storage you can do is ridiculous. And then you have bank alts you can make. And because you can make them frub and you can even trade with them and everything, um, you don't have to pay for them. Obviously, you won't be able to trade like the no drops or anything like that, but uh, you'll be able to do quite a bit with it. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, I might as well keep this, I guess, for fun. You got the colonists. Can this actually go in there? No, I don't think you can put bags within bags, uh, but that's good. And then um, that's pretty much that. Then we could just throw, what's this one? Oh, this was the other stuff. Oh, but yeah, we might need that. Whatever. And then um, <laughs> there you go. And then we can take another one and then we can just call this. You can just start just calling them like this, you know, storage, junk. And this is if you don't organize it, screw it. You, you know, you do this and there is, uh, I guess it's like a little PHP program or something later on. So what you can do is actually go through all this and kind of scan everything and it will list it in like an HTML, HTML page for you. Uh, I'll try to make a video on that eventually. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't see myself using this. This is where you put the monster parts together, I think, but uh, maybe I'll hold on to it. But uh yeah, very cool. So organization, always a key in any place, like in real life in this game. <laughs> but there we go. We fixed that up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to, um, for the co Condemned Subway, there's an Elite Daily Mission. Now, I know there was one that somebody had mentioned that's here, but I don't think you can do this. Um, this guide, I think, is about missions. Elite daily missions. I'm trying to find it, but I can't find it. Neutral startup quest, which we did already. And then, yeah, so it wants us to do a bunch of things, but I can't find it. Daily mission is given at the senior angels in Athens and Rome blue. Okay. Now it shows there's one here for neutral as well. I don't think you can get it in neutral, but we will, if you can, you can, if not, whatever. Uh, mission agency. Yeah, here you go. I don't think you can do it. I think we have to go to the one of the other locations for it, but I think we go inside by the way, but I just wanted to click it. Anyways. Okay. Well, Oh, here you go. Clan agency mission. Oh, hey, it, sh it leads you to it. Oh, I see. Mission agency is now available on RubyCon. Visit the office at Old Athens and Rome. Shift click for more information. Okay. So Old Athens for clan members. Okay. So my understanding is the best way to get there is to do Old Athens. So 
Uh, let's see what the best way to get there is. So if you zoom all the way out here, this is a crazy ass map that will probably make us cry, but it's actually not so bad once you understand it. So we have to figure out how to get here. So uh, here's hope. Okay, so where's Borealis? There's that. Okay, we're at Borealis. So we just have to go to... We have to figure out where they meet up. I guess this is one where they meet up, Vermint Woods or something. I was hoping this would be a little more easy, to be fair. It's so freaking close, too. We have to go to Vermint Woods, I guess. It doesn't make it easy, because how do you see the... You know what I mean? Interesting. Well, let's see, see if we can figure it out. What do you think? Try this? I mean, we could go to ICC, to be fair. Actually, ICC would probably make sense. Let's go to ICC again. So we'll go to New Land and ICC. So here it is, New Land. There you go. And then we're going to go to ICC. I feel like this it just might be easier to go through this. Because I know they have them here like this. So this is a trade. This is, there you go, tier. There we go. And then from tier, we could probably find it a little easier here. Uh, Vermin Woods actually right here. <laughs> there you go. And then from the woods, it's tier. Or was it tier? Yeah, was it tier? I think so. Mission. Old Athens, sorry. So we need to go Whaling Waste Okay, whaling waste and then ath uh not win. Whaling waste. <laughs> we'll get there. It's awesome being so out of uh I used to have like a printout for this back in the day. And then Athens, beautiful. Now that warp guy would have made this a million times easier, but I wanted to do this ourselves, so uh that was kind of what we were doing here. And it looks like it might be just right over here. I'm like, I'm seeing an agency billboard here, but uh, we're going to go back to zoom in. Oh, here it is. It's on the side. Look at there. It even has a big side. So if we went through the grid, the grid is over here somewhere. Not here, I don't think, right? The grid had its own little area before, but I'm not sure where they have it. Who are you and what are you? Damn, that's the market search, by the way. The grid is, is it over here? It's at one of the ends, I think. It's been so long. I think it might be here, actually. Anyway, it's not a big deal. We could just use the map and see where the grid, there is the grid right there. So it's over there somewhere. But it's nice to even go into these areas and see like the game is alive. People play it like it's not dead in any way. Oh, and there you go. There's warp, warp boy two. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's just right there. So we could just grab him and have ended up right here. That's beautiful. And then I guess we just talk to the agency person here. Like to apply for a job, please. Uh, so it looks like everything in the record. Have you read the policy? Uh, not yet. Uh, sure. One mission per 18 hours. Uh, I accept. There you go. Holy crap, that's a lot of questions. Uh, clan agency. Omnitech agency. So did we not do this yet? Target. There you go. It's very little EXP, so I won't bother with. Well, maybe I should for fun. Wait, how? 
did I get it? Because I'm now even more confused. There you go. Where offer? Oh, where can I offer me elite? There you go. I want the subway. There we go. Haha, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Ah, that was scary. Um, really rubber band me back in there. Let's go to Rome Blue and just do the hand in there so you guys can see it. So as a neutral, it's kind of cool because we get to, you know, go all over the world in a sense, which I think is fun. So, yeah, I think this is it over here, right? Is that what the... I feel like this is supposed to be the grid over here, but it's been so long. Well, at least we know there's a lot of life. What the frig? Baffers? Oh, this is another buff bot. So I guess if you go tell warp per mule help. Oh, no, here, yeah, crit buffer. Probably tell crit buffer help. Retrieving all available buffs. So there you go. So you can do this and this is another buffer and there was two of them in new land by the way There's one in the backyard in Borealis uh, The amount of these buffers that exist is just really freaking cool. But yeah anyways um, But yeah, here is the grid. I think oh gosh, where's the grid over here? It's over here on the side. I think it's been so long. I do remember it, but it's just should be right Oh, I was like, actually, I don't remember being on the side like that. Maybe. Anyways, this is probably the best way to do uh, getting traveling around, honestly. So we wanted to do the Omitech one, right? So we need to go to Rome Blue. So Rome Blue is in here somewhere. Oh, my goodness. That's kind of cool. So, Rome. Oh, what? That's why the guy said, you know, it's easier to do the other thing, I think. Okay. That's just dumb. <laughs> I want to see what the exit takes you these days. I remember it used to take us somewhere. Is this New Land, I guess? Ah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I was just curious. Well, might as well do this. That's what we're doing for this episode. And then next episode, we're going to do some subway. Let's see if I get to Rome without using any maps. We could use this to make life easier on us. Doesn't feel as fast because you get so freaking big in size, but. <laughs> Go. Here's a map, too, here. Rubika! Okay, so we're gonna go to. Oh, yeah, we wanna actually be here. So we're gonna go right here. Albany. There you go. And that's probably why they said the other one's better because you're right there. So there's Galloway, Omni One Entertainment. I think that might be the best one to try. Yeah, here you go. Mission Agency. So there you go. Rome Blue. Rome. There you go. And then Rome, it's on the side, right? Yeah, that's why I was like, we're not going to find it there because it's on here. So, yeah, right there. That's why it's always annoying for these because they don't actually have a thing there. And if I recall, you have to go all the way to the end. So you have to go down here to get to them or up here. <laughs> so, yeah, I would admit that's, that's obviously a more annoying. It's not a huge deal because you can go over here, but... Oh, technically the climber one is much easier to do. There you go. And there's the Omni one agency. I thought I'd check both of them because if you happen to pick a faction, at least this way now you know where both of them is, right? So. 
I used to spend so much time here. This was like my main stomping grounds. That was a whole different time. But yeah, I used to spend all the time. I think it was like over in the corner over here or something. But yeah. I don't, but the thing is, even Omni doesn't spend a lot of time in Omni. Like, that's just been how it is. So, there you go. Okay, so it's the same thing as before. We just have to target them. That's right. And there you go. And so, if we finish this, by the way, look at this. Kill all these guys. Do that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see if there's anyone over here. I used to hang out over here. Okay, here we go. This makes more sense. Couple people here. But not really, like... This place used to be so full of life. This isn't because it's dead or anything, by the way. Oh, crap. My view, dis view got broken. Uh, this is just because these are not, like, the hangout spots. I think Omni Entertainment would be probably where a lot of people would hang, possibly. But yeah, this is outside now, right? Yeah. So the subway, yeah, I was gonna say there was a subway here. So this subway still works, right? Oh no, this subway is closed. They just didn't put the friggin' thing in there. So yeah, here's here's the uh this is cool. There's the inner sanctum. I think it's a portal to the inner sanctum. It's not an actual inner sanctum, but I remember actually at one point, you know, being out here somewhere and killing stuff. Like, this is such a different time. Uh, it's so cool just to think how things have changed. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the inner sanctum. So it's not actual. Uh, it's a, you have a ticket or something that takes you here. But yeah. I guess it doesn't do anything. But yeah. Cool. Well, my friends, I think I'll leave it there because I think you got the, the tour. We'll meet up next time at ICC and we're going to do the subway, which is going to be a lot of fun. And then we'll go from there. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.